wisdom. Today we are going to be dealing on how to balance chemical equation. So in this video, I'll be taking you through three major steps to take to balance any chemical equation. So the first step is list out the atoms on both sides of equation. Okay, I'll drill you through that. Second step, compare the atoms on both sides of equation. We'll deal on that. And third step, introduce stroke manipulate coefficients to balance chemical equations. So this is a sample equation here. The reaction between carbon and hydrogen to produce methane. So the number in front of atoms are called coefficients and the number at the foot of atoms are called subscripts. So in balancing equation, we're going to be manipulating the coefficients, not the subscripts. The subscript stays constant. So for example, the reaction between nitrogen and oxygen to produce nitrogen dioxide. So we have nitrogen reacting with oxygen to produce nitrogen dioxide. So we'll follow the first step that says list out the number of atoms on both sides. So on the left hand side, we have nitrogen and we have oxygen. On the right hand side, we have nitrogen and we have oxygen. Second step says compare the atoms on both sides of the equation. So here we have two nitrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms. On the right hand side, we have only one nitrogen atom and two oxygen atoms. If you check the equation here, it's not balanced. In that we have two on this side for nitrogen and one on the right hand side. We have two on the left and two on the right for oxygen. So what do you now do to get the nitrogen balanced? Third step said manipulate the coefficients. For instance, now we have two on the left. What do you now need to do to make it two on the right? If you introduce a coefficient of two in front of the ni nitrogen dioxide, this becomes two times one for nitrogen. This gives you two. That means we have two on the right, two on the left, but the two does not just affect the nitrogen. It also affects the oxygen here. So we have two times two for oxygen. Now the oxygen becomes four. The equation is not, is not balanced. In that we have four oxygen atoms on the right, two on the left. So what do we now do to get the oxygen on the left to balance the one on the right? If what will be the, the suitable coefficient to introduce here? We notice that if we introduce a two in front of the oxygen, it becomes two times two to give you four. That means this equation now is balanced in that we have the same number of atoms on the left is equal to the number of atoms on the right. For nitrogen is two and two, oxygen is four and four. So the first equation is balanced. Let's look at the next example now. The second example, the reaction between hydrogen gas and oxygen to produce water. So we have hydrogen gas combining with oxygen gas to produce water. So the first step says, list out the atoms on both sides. Here we have hydrogen and we have oxygen. On the right hand side, we have hydrogen and we have oxygen. Step two says, compare the two sides. So we have two hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms. On the right hand side, we have two hydrogen atoms and just one oxygen atom. So this equation is not balanced now. Step three says comp manipulate the coefficients. So now if we have one oxygen atom on the right and two on the left, what do you now do to make the one on the right to become like the left? If you introduce a coefficient of two over water, this makes it two times one for oxygen. And then we have a coefficient of two for oxygen. But the two does not just affect the oxygen. It also affects the hydrogen, making it two times two, which becomes four. So now we have four hydrogen atoms on the right and just two on the left. Mm -hmm. So what do you now do to balance the both sides? Balance both sides. I mean, if we have four on the right, two on the left, that means introducing a coefficient of two here makes it two times two for hydrogen being four now. That means we have four on the left for hydrogen, four on the right for hydrogen, two on the left for oxygen, two on the right for oxygen. That means this equation now, the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen is balanced. So balancing equations means manipulating the coefficients to get the number of atoms on both sides equal. So now let's look at the next example. Okay, the next reaction is the reaction between a tin and oxygen. Combustion reaction of a tin. So we have a tin to be C2 H4 reacting with O2 to produce CO2 and water. So first step says, let's start the atoms on both sides. So on, on left hand side, we have carbon 
we have hydrogen and we have oxygen on the right hand side we have carbon we have hydrogen and we have oxygen so number of carbon atoms on the left is two number of hydrogen atoms on the left is four number of oxygen atoms on the left is two on the right we have just one carbon atom we have two hydrogen atoms and two plus one we have three oxygen atoms on the right so if you look at this equation now it's not balanced in that we have two for carbon on the left and one for carbon on the right so what do you now do to get the carbon on the right to become like the left if you introduce a coefficient of two over the carbon dioxide this becomes two times one for carbon and now we have two carbon atoms on the right but they don't forget that the two also affects the oxygen we'll get back to this if you look at the hydrogen it's four on the left two on the right what do you now do to get the hydrogen on the right to become like the one on the left if you introduce a coefficient of two over water this becomes two times two for hydrogen and then we have four four hydrogen atoms it balances the one on the left but the oxygen now becomes two times two to make it four plus two times one to make it two so that means four plus two for oxygen we now have six oxygen atoms i take it again two times two over the oxygen we have a four here two times one over the oxygen here we have a two so the four plus the two gives us this six so now we have six on the right two on the left how do you now get the six on the right to balance the two on the left if you come here what do you what suitable coefficients can you introduce to this oxygen to convert it to six atoms if we bring in a coefficient of three the three will multiply the two here and then we have six oxygen atoms on the left if we compare the equation now we have two for carbon on the left two for carbon on the right four for hydrogen on the left four for hydrogen on the right six for oxygen on the left and six on the right that means this equation now is balanced the equation now is balanced okay let's look at something more complex now the next example we consider a reaction concerning polyatomic ions for example the reaction between calcium sulfate and sodium nitrate okay this reaction contains polyatomic ions i need to make some explanations here so we we'll have calcium nitrate as products alongside sodium sulfate okay this is the product so first step says list out the number of atoms on both sides so on the left hand side we have calcium we have sulfate we have sodium and we have nitrate i need to treat each polyatomic ion negative ion as a single ion so i don't get confused so you don't need to split these ions take it as a, sing a single ion so that means one sulfate here and nitrate please don't be confused every these, these are polyatomic ions you don't need to split them between sulfur and oxygen you write them as one this is one ion polyatomic simply means you know many atoms coming together to form a single ion for example here we have sulfate it contains sulfur and oxygen so on the right hand side they also list out the atoms we have calcium we have sulfate we have sodium and we have nitrate so if we compare both sides we have one calcium atom here one sulfate polyatom one sodium atom one nitrate polyatom on the right hand side we have one calcium atom one sulfate polyatom we have two sodium atoms the subscript here makes it two please don't be confused and then we also have two nitrate polyatoms the subscript two so what now what do you now need to do the the number of atoms on both sides are not balanced the sodium and the nitrate so we have one for sodium on the left two for sodium on the right so what do you now need to do to get the sodium on the left balanced with the right we have two on the right so you introduce a two introducing a two over the sodium nitrate here now becomes two times one of the sodium we have two atoms of sodium now but the two does not, does not just affect the sodium the two also affects the nitrate then we have one times two for nitrate too and then we have two so we have two nitrate polyatoms on the left and on the right that means the equation now is balanced in that we have the same number of atoms on the left and on the right so this these three major basic steps can help you to balance any chemical equation so step one says list out the atoms like we have discussed step two says compare both sides comparing means you have to find out the differences between the atoms on both sides and then we have introducing or manipulating coefficients on both sides of the equation like we have been doing so please if you like this video just 
click the like button and subscribe make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon so as not to miss out on our videos mm -hmm.